Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the Magic Roundabout, we have got a Dinky Toys Johnson Road Sweeper. Here we go. As you look at this going round, I'd just like to uh, welcome all the friends of the channel back. Any new friends? Thanks for joining. I hope you stay. I yeah, look forward to your comments and I try and answer all the comments best I can within the week. Sometimes it's hard to get them all. I like to read them all and um, give a, a, a good answer if I can. So that being said, let's just get this off the magic, get it on a bench and have a bloody good look at it. Okay, here we go then. Let's make a start. Let's have a look underneath here. So you get that right. Dinky Toys, Johnson Road Sweeper. Screw base. Quite a few screws. One or two screws in there somewhere. I'll see another. Oh yeah, there and there. Okay, this is missing front axle. And it's missing the door frame at the top of this one. It's missing the pipe. So there you go. What we got? Dual headlights. It's a Ford. Glass is damaged. But I've got a couple of these and one I'm not going to touch because it's not too bad. Um, <coughs> spare parts for this were kindly donated. Well, the front, the front axle, wheels and the door frame or a, a new door was kindly donated by Mr. Ralph Cooling. Thank you, Ralph. He sent me a, a bag of little bits, um, which is great. That is off the crane, so I'll keep that separate. Yeah, uh, yeah, the axle, I didn't bring the axle out, it's in here. So thank you very much, Ralph. Much appreciated. There's the new different door. And there's the wheels and axles. So we got that sorted. I've got another one of these. That I can take the windscreen out, which is better than this one. And the pipe. So we can make a good one. Okay, right. Now, the other thing is, there is a spring type of, uh, I'll show you it in a minute, but it goes around there. Okay, and around the axle, and it turns this little brush. Okay. Now, I was given the spring for this. Now, I know people are going to ask me where, where it came from, and to be honest with you, I am not sure. I was given it, um, a length of it, by a friend of mine, and to be honest with you, I can't remember where he said he got it from. But... I seem to have a vague memory of him saying it came from, you know, the guys that do the, uh, you know, the Momard steam, steam engines and steam cars and traction engines. I think it comes from there. Something to do with that. Now, this is what it is. Now, I'm just going to unscrew it, if I can now. But there is a, if I can get it unscrewed without damaging it. So if somebody knows in the comments where these come from, okay, then please put it in the comments so other people can see it who want one and uh, know where to get it from. That would be greatly appreciated. Now these springs, I've, I've screwed it in to, to try it out. Now what it is, on one end of the spring, it's got a taper. So what you do then is you just cut it to the length that you want and then screw the tapered end into the other end and it gives you a nice tight bond yeah okay that's how it works so when you get one of these you'll see one end of it it's got a taper on it and it goes into the the open end of the other side and it just screws in so if you get it roughly to length you can screw it in and adjust the, the tightness on it but i've got it in i can't seem to want to get it out i don't want to damage it because that's the only, one, the only one I've got. So that's it. So if anybody 
knows where to get this from please put it in the comments so other people can uh, can see it and uh, and get it that'd be greatly appreciated okay so that's that so we've got all the bits we need so i'll put that in my tub put these in my tub so i don't lose them so thank you again ralph for that that's great of you mate thank you okay and i'll put your this is off another project that i've got to do that he sent me but we'll get into that later when i've got the decals right okay let's get on with this then this is like a metallic green on here the paint i'm going to try and keep it try and get it as near as i can to that um because the other two i've got i'm going to do a different color variation i'll probably do a yellow one and then i'll just do a private one okay all right so we've got dual headlights to deal with okay and yeah dual headlights to deal with so let's get into it more waffle less waffle so to get the cab off couple of screws there so the cab comes off there you go let's just push that over there it's got an interior to it so I will not have to get the door open so have a look We get this this out somehow yeah just leave it out so that's the cab dirty filthy the doors just come out as standard there's the pins there that one there and that one there we, we don't need that so we'll chuck it over there I won't bin it but I'll just put it out of the way and the windscreen just pulls out as a bonus as you can see it's got some damage but we can replace that with a spare where i've got so that's that the dual headlights you can't access them from the back and you'll have a job to get a drill in there so we have to find a way of getting those out of there Sometimes they're easy to get out, sometimes they're not, but we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. So that's the cab on the interior right now. And it screws out where we want. Two. Let me just move my camera up a bit, it seems to have gone a bit... Because I messed about with it the other day. It's gone a bit whappy on me. There you go. All right, so that's just screws. Let's get it in the tub. Door, screws, interior, cab. Yeah, and that cab, I've just noticed that cab's got a, a crack in it there. Look, there you go. So we'll have to super duper that in. And that side, I think, as well. It's got a slight crack. Yeah, if you just move it, look, I don't see it moving. So, bit of super duper on there. We'll work that out. So that's that bit. Put the window and they keep it together. Now this part should just come out. Lift off. Lift and separate. Yeah, because there's a piece at the back there. You just pull it back. And it comes out. So that's that bit. Okay. So we've got that bit. And we've got that bit at the bottom. See what happens here. And screw this piece. Two. These are all the same size screws, so you won't mix them up. The screws out of there. And that lifts off. And you've got your little brush there. A little cog in there that turns around. So that'll be cleaned up. Okay, cleaned up nicely. 
give it a bit of a shine. And then we have the uh, the other part of the brush. This part, it just pops out. It's a bit bent. <coughs> Let me straighten that out. Now, then we have this plastic piece here. I think that just pulls out. Let's just check on that. Yeah, I think it just pulls out. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that just pulls out of there. There's a lug there you push out the back there and pulls it out. <coughs> you have to excuse me, I've got I've got a chest infection at the minute. So I'm not doing so good. I'm just maneuvering this back wheel out, see if it will come off. It seems to be coming off. See if we can get it out. <coughs> yeah, we're coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh no! So it's Christmas. So it's Christmas. There it is. Got it. Now, <coughs> oh, this, is, this is terrible. I'm just working out whether to, I can just get this end off as well or, or not. So see where that lines up along that edge. So I might be able to tap that through, tap that off. This one. Let's have a look, see. Not sure whether they'll tap through or not. We'll have to have a look. See what we can do with it. We'll have to have a look, see. First time me doing this, so you have to bear with me. Let me just try and tap this through here. It might work and it might not. Get hammer. <coughs> Get hammer. Right, that's come out, so that's cool. Let's tap that out. Uh, <laughs> I might have to do the same with this one. Oh, reach that one. Something a bit thinner to go in there. <laughs> if I do it that way. No, it won't do it that way. So I'm just chuntering to myself while I get this organised. Let me have it falling down. Have it falling down. I had another, another pen thing here. Not, obviously not organised here. Obviously not organised here. Uh, let's see what I can use instead. Just something a bit thinner to go through there. Yeah, that might do. Oh, that's not working. Oh, 
I'm just going to work it out to do this. It might just. Excuse me, I'm just going to cover my hand over there because I've got to hold it. It's not working. Right, give me a minute while I try and work it out, get this off here, and then I'll show you how I've done it. After that bit of faffing about and me not knowing what I was doing. Right, so we got that one out. What I did was took the other wheel off. I took the other I took the other wheel off. And uh it was easier then to uh, tap through the other end, the long end. I had more room to tap through this end here and it as soon as that come off that there as soon as it come off that gnarly bit she just slid off so it was just a matter of knocking that knocking that off there okay so that's that's all out now so we're just left with the chassis yeah apologies for that it was a bit of a bit of faffing about messing around that's what you do when you're not sure what you're doing. You're trying to find a way around things. And that was the way. And I wasn't prepared. I normally, you know, um, get prepared with tools and that. But I, I didn't this time. My bad. Right. Stripping time in. So that's going for the strip. That's going for the strip. That's go Oh, jeweled headlights. I mustn't forget those. Let's see if we can get these out without too much uh, too much damage. These are like try and get in with the corner of a knife. Sometimes they'll come out straight away. Other times they won't. So it was just. Have a little bit of a lever. Oh, that's got it. Just work your way around the edge. And hopefully it comes out. That's one. Unfortunately, sometimes they break off. So you only get a part of it will come out, which is a pain sometimes, but they've been here a long time and I'm not sure what they used to stick them in with. But you can work your way around the edge and gradually lever them up. There you go, that one's free, but that one's broke. See the tops broke off that one? Yeah. It's still usable. Get it on my thing, you will see. Get it on there. Come on. Get it on here and you'll see. To me, it's not that bit better. Yeah. That's not focus. It's not going to focus very well. But yeah, it's still usable. It's still got the point on it. So it can't, yeah, it's not focusing very well. But it is usable. It didn't smash in half, it just lost some of its glass around the back. But yeah, so they're both usable. No doubt there's different ways of getting them out, but you can. Yeah, there we go, look. It's like a, I don't know, I don't know what sort of glue they've used for this. But there you go. Like I've said on numerous occasions, don't worry if you break them or you lose them, because if you use junk jewellery, you'll find it, dress jewellery in a charity shop or something, quite cheap for a necklace or earrings or something, or your missus flip-flops like I did. Um, there's plenty. So don't worry about it. Okay then. Stripping. 
that's it all the metal parts cleaned up there we go cab chassis doors and that so get a bit of meth light spirits on it get it cleaned up and painted this is a silver base it's ready orange cab and doors and like a metallic green on this I'm going to give this uh, a gold metallic base on this I'm going to prime it and gold metallic base and then I'm going to go over with the clear uh, where is it I've got it here somewhere clear metallic Tamiya green yeah over there I'm going to do it with an airbrush so I'll get it on fairly thin and hopefully it'll come out near enough but for that got to super glue these pillars I've got them best I can as close as I can just got to bring that down like that super glue bit of baking powder on these okay so I'll get the glue out and the breaking powder and we'll have a look at that. Okay, I've just done the one side just to get it held in position. Now we're going to do this side. So just get your super glue. Careful how you do it. I'll use the thinner stuff so it, it runs around. And get it Squash it down, get the old baking powder. It's a bit uh, this here, a little bit on the on the inside. Keep it down; it should be fine. And I'll leave that now for. A, I'll give it about an hour before I uh, start messing about with the files. With it, if you do it too early, the chances are you'll take it off again. So that's quite a straightforward job. These these pillars, especially where they just crack like that, there's nothing really major. Just a matter of hold it together. Okay, so I'm going to leave that now. Yeah, baking powder can be a bit messy at times. I've got plenty of it, so keep it in there so I don't forget. There you go. So that's that little project out of the way, that little job done. I'll leave that while, and we'll come back when it's needed to be filed and sanded. Okay, window repairs done. You saw me put the super glue and baker powder on, just went around with a series of files. Trying to get it best I can on there and there. There's a little tiny mark there, but I would imagine the undercoat will probably fill it in and we'll see when we haven't. So I've just methylated spirit it and I'm going to give it some primer. See how we go. So, yeah, just basically use files to get it round best you can. This has got a faint line of a window rubber around it. So I'll try to recreate that best I can without breaking through there. So I'll get some primer on. Okay. Right, we've got the tank in metallic gold. So we're going to put some uh, Tamiya Clear Green over this in a bit. And try and bring the colour up, what we need. I needed the metallic to bring, because it's got a, a metallic coat to it. I was going to put a yellow base coat down, but I haven't got any metallic yellow. If I had a metallic yellow, I would have probably done that. Or you could use a metallic copper. Something in that region. The base is all painted. In the silver. Just needs lacquering. And there's the cab. I grey primed it. And uh, I've uh, 
done the white bumper and the white grill. That's done now. So I've got to mask that off. And we're going to use that uh, vermilion. Just wait one and I'll get it. We're going to use this Rover vermilion colour. It's already orange. I think there's... You would imagine it's about just under half a tin. So hopefully I've got enough to do the cab. Luckily it's just a cab and doors. So and it's a double acrylic, so I should be able to get away with it. Hopefully. Right, so that's where we are. So now I've got to mask this off. Okay. It's okay, it's all painted and lacquered. There you go, came out quite nice. It's a bit darker on camera than it is in real life. It's a bit lighter red than this, that vermilion. So, this is all done. Doors are all done. Both of them. That's all lacquered now. So we've got to put some details on here in a bit. Put the headlights back in. What I'm working on now is working on the um, on a do flop. You know what a do flop is, don't you? Everybody knows what a do flop is. Go. Everybody knows what a do flop is. Uh, that's the metallic green. The uh, XF X25 metallic green. So I'm going to thin a bit of this down, get it in the airbrush, and have a go at it. Okay, let's try and get, the, you might not see much because the light's not great in here, like in the spray booth, but I'll try and give it a go. I need to get a better lighting in here for this. Just basically going over light colours, light colours, light coats. Too far off the colour. It's easier to put it on than it is to take it off. So 
so I think with a coat of lacquer on that that will be somewhere near it I think personally yeah so there you go there you go that's that done so that dry off put a coat of lacquer on it and uh, Bob's your uncle or your granddad or whatever you want to call him put that back over there so I've got so much with the airbrush and the compressor being on the bench and the light here is I ain't got a lot of room okay then I've gone ahead oh yeah look look at this there you go that's the green finished lacquered not too bad it's not spot on but it's good enough I've gone ahead and detailed and put the lights back in the cab because it's going to take me a while to put this together assemble it together so we don't need to see me do a bit of detailing you see me do it those times it's just a matter of fact that otherwise it's going to take me a long time to the video otherwise door handles and what i've done here painted the batteries at the back tail lights put the bands around the fuel tanks and that's it so it's assembly time so i want to get all the gear together get my mat out and we'll try I get this together. Dun, 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 dun. As you can see, there's a lot of parts. I didn't realise there were so many parts, but there is. Right, okay. We well, need to start with a chassis. Get that all together. Get the spring in and the wheels and that assembled. Then we can do the rest later. So, because it gives a bit of room, I'll move some of this stuff over or out of the way. We don't want to get the cab damaged, do we? And stuff like this. Or the tank, or the doors. So we'll shift them out of the way, and the window unit. And that should leave us with the main components that we're going to need. Right. You must remember... I've already joined this, I've already joined this spring because I was trying it out when I first got it to see how it all worked. But if you haven't joined yours when you get it, you can do it at this stage if you want uh, and cut it and join it at this stage. But I've already done this at the minute. So like I say, when you get it, you can cut it to whatever size you want and thread it whilst it's in here. But this <laughs> keeps going around the wrong way. So, what you must do, that's the front axle. What you must do is make sure you've got all your, your bits threaded through. So we'll start with the back one. I'm pretty sure this is the back one. Hold on, let's get this right. Yeah, that's that one with a cog on. This has got a cog on. And that's on. Yeah, okay. So it all goes on this side. All right. So you're going to need to thread that through. This is where it gets fiddly. This is where it gets fiddly, people. Thread that through there. You've got to make sure this is in as well before you do anything else. And we'll push that in there. That's got to go right up there. In there. Now this has got itself a, it's a little bit on the loose side there. That's going to spin if I'm not careful. So I might have to put a bit of super duper on that because that's moving the uh, thread is a little bit worn on it okay so that's in place there all right now we need to put this one in as well 
might have to hold this with a pair of tweezers or something. In fact, in fact, let me just try something here. Let me just try something here. That might be better. I'm probably trying to make this more complicated than it really is. Excuse me while I try and get this in here. Right. Okay. Well, that's that and that's that. Right, that's those two in. Just going to give this a little tap. That's in there solid. You've got to make sure your springs over your bits and bobs or else you're going to struggle with it now. I don't know about this one. I might just be able to squeeze that in. This could be a bit trickier to get in. Try to find a way of squeezing it in. Excuse me, it's taking a, a while, but I've got no choice but to try and just ease it in a little bit. There we go. What I'm trying to do is trying to get this over the spline. At a minute. It seems to be doing the job. Just gently. Don't need a lot of pressure. Yeah. Okay. So then the last one. Be this one. Huh. Got it done here, don't you? I've got the bloody thing twisted. That's not a problem. 
Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, you're going to say, God, there's a lot of faffing about. It probably is, but... That's yeah, got it. The spring seems to have got itself a little bit cockeyed. I'm going to live with that. Okay. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. Right, we're on. We got it. We got it. That's in. That's in. And it works. Look, let's just turn that back axle. And you see it's working. Bit of a faff, but we got there in the end. Okay. Squeeze them up together. Okay. All right, that's working. That's working. Same with the front. This one's a little bit tighter. They are quite tight, these. Just using an old socket just to tap it down with. Just a fraction more. So it's taken a long time to do this, but these things do take time. Okay, so we're at that stage now. I think we'll try and get some tyres on. Get some tyres on it. Let's 
just go down a little bit more on this side. Excuse me, knocking the camera. Right. Okay, that all works. As you can see, that wheel's a little bit. Let's go over that by a fraction. You can adjust these wheels as you go along if you want. I'll just sort them out. I'll get them all square later. Let's just get it built up. So we'll whack this in. So it goes in that hole and that hole. Like so. Okay. This one with the cog in it drops in there with the screws. Okay. Right, okay. Right, what else we got? So I think that's that's the chassis completed anyway. Okay. So next we'll stick this on. A bit of muck on that. Flip it, get a dirty mark on that. Just try and change that. It goes in there, doesn't it? Right, put that on there. That's one side, and that's to get the cab together. Put the window unit in. Push that in. Stick the doors in, sort of, they don't keep falling out. Or maybe the 
door should have gone in after. Let's see if the doors are in there now, see. Okay, it's the doors and the cab together. That in first, put that in the old, that like that, and then the cab unit should fit like that. Check the doors, okay, that one. That one. Whoops, finally the two screws. Shaking, but my hands are shaking. There you go. There you have it. Checking the door operation. That's it. Job done. Job done. That was a tricky one to put back together. If you just clear this out of the way, you can see the watch the brush operation going round so that's all working that's all working and that's it so let's get it a bit of a clean and get it on the magic roundabout let me just get there's a little bit of muck on there so i get this bit of muck off there Oh, 
Och det gör hon ber om mackor som är om här. Don't know where that's come from. Anyway, let's get on the magic and have a look at it. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys Johnson Road Sweeper. As you can see, a bit beat up. In need of a resto. So, it's all done now. Have a look at this. See what you think. Here we go. Have a look. Okay then. Here she is on the Magic Roundabout, the old Johnson's Road Sweeper. Apologies, this has took a long time to assemble, and it's a long video. I didn't expect it to be this long, but unfortunately it is. There is a lot to cover on this one. Number plates on the back, indicator lights. It's the nearest green I could get. And me tapping with the sockets, there's no damage done to the hubs, look. Because the socket, the socket I used went inside the outer rim. Okay, I managed to get a socket what would fit inside the outer rim of the wheel hub so it wouldn't damage it. Okay, so there we got. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and maybe whoever's doing one of these learn a bit. Yeah, it does uh, pay you to probably put the spring, don't do what I did and attach the spring, join it together before you uh, put it together. It is uh, probably beneficial to do it afterwards so you can put all the axles in and then just wrap it around and do it. But I did it to try and, because I was impatient when I first got the spring to see if it would fit and it would work. So there you go, a little tip there. Cut the spring to length, obviously, and then uh, Attach the spring after you got the axles in. Anyway, enough of that, enough waffle. The video's long enough. I hope you enjoyed this one. I can't do an outside shot today at the mo at the minute because it's chucking it down with rain. Okay. So, I will see you next week with something else. Thanks for watching. All the best. Enjoy yourselves. And I'll see you shortly. Bye for now. Bye.